home. But let's get over to John because I know we've got loads of demonstrations and loads already set up. Things you perhaps wouldn't think of that this would be so, so good for. This is another brilliant idea, John. Yeah, because you know what? It keeps the food fresher for longer. You know, s s vacuum suck out the air, lock in the freshness. You've got four sizes of bags, OK? Uh, you don't always necessarily have to, um, you know, vacuum seal it. You can just burp the bag and seal it kind of loose like you would do for store cupboard ingredients. So whether you're doing things like pasta, biscuits, breadcrumbs. But I will show you now, you've got four sizes of bags. Now this has got that uh, reinforced double sealed zipper. It's fo obviously food grade safe. Um, brilliant for sous vide as well. And again, what you're not doing, here's my frozen, or actually now defrosting fish fingers. Absolutely brilliant in the fridge, the freezer, the store cupboard. Now once you've popped the food inside, now good little tip as well, you've got the four sizes of bags. Try and get the right size food to the right size bag, okay? So I'm just gonna, Pop this locked hit, lock here. I'm going to take my zipper, okay, and pop that over the top of that double seal, and then just slide it all the way across like so. Now, it must, you must make sure that the air valve is flat, because what you're now going to do is take that um, suction pump, pop it over the top of the air valve like so, and then you're going to pump that and you're going to take the air from the bag. So oh, again, wow. brilliant for picnics, brilliant for party food, brilliant for, you know, your pack lunches. Again, batch cook and freeze. Any food that's left over, you're not now wasting. I mean, how many times have you gone to the fridge and you've done a, you know, a ham sandwich, you've put the ham back inside the fridge in the packet, you've left the packet open, you know, the next time you go and get the ham, maybe a day or two later, it's gone hard on the outside of maybe a block of cheese. But look, that was with, that's the smallest bag, okay? And I've now, you can see there quite clearly, I've sucked out, vacuumed out rather, all the air and I've locked in the freshness. Now label and date the food as well, okay? And again, just to reiterate what you're not doing, is spending loads and loads of money on sandwich bags, tin foil, cling film, freezer bags, okay? They're one use. This is washable, it's reusable. You've got four sizes. Now I'm gonna break the seal here, okay? My hands are a little bit wet and slippy. So I'm gonna break the seal, you can see that sealed. I'm now gonna break the seal, you can see the tomatoes dancing around in that small bag. Again, you can burp the bag and just seal it normally, okay? But the concept of the vac pack bag is to keep that airtight seal and keep the food fresher for longer. Just remember one thing, you must place the little valve here in the corner on a flat surface, and there's a, it's difficult to see on TV, actually, I'll turn this round. There's a little white line here, and you can't fill the bag beyond this point, okay? You can see there, okay? So now we're gonna take our vacuum pump, pop it on the top, Again, you can pop these in the dishwasher if you want to. Personally, I would recommend you wash them by hand, but you can pop them in the dishwasher there, dishwasher safe. Now, of course, you can also pop it in the fridge, the freezer. Uh, you're no longer getting sort of freezer burn on food that's been, you know, opened, popped back into the freezer in the box. So for example, the fish fingers once again. Now there's those tomatoes, okay? Brilliant. So we, we, you know, as a nation, we waste an awful lot of money on throwing food away because maybe, you know, it's gone off, it's on the turn. What this will allow you to do, again, is to seal, airtight seal, food grade safe plastic. You've got that reinforced double zipper. And what we can do now is seal our food in the bags. Remember, you've got four different sizes of bags. Now I'm just gonna put my hand inside here and separate the marshmallows because I think this is quite a powerful demonstration, I really, really do. So again, just to make this clear, with the pasta here, I haven't used the vacuum pump. All I've done is burped the bag, okay? And again, this is not single use. It's washable, it's reusable. So you buy this once. You've got the four sizes. You have five of each size. You have four little, um, zipper clips, we call them zipper clips. Now you don't have to use this necessarily, but I find it easier. So you just slide that all the way into the bag, like so, and then slide across. And then that seals that reinforced um, zipper. We now take our pump Haley, okay? And we pop it over the top of the valve. Also great for marinating foods inside here, okay? Again, 
you know, brilliant for picnics, parties, uh, yeah. leftover barbecue food. Also great for batch cooking and freezing because remember, this is freezer safe. And incidentally, if you're doing something like sous vide, it has a temperature range of minus 20 degrees centigrade up to 100 de degrees centigrade, okay? So have a look at the air. All I'm doing is just up and down on the pump. Obviously, you stop when you feel you've taken enough air out. You lock out the air, you wow. lock in the freshness, and there's those marshmallows. But I'll tell you what we use an awful lot at home, an awful lot of cheese. How many times with a knife have you sliced cheese? You've used maybe cling film or maybe t uh, tin foil. You've gone back to the fridge, or just a regular packet for that matter. You've gone back and the side of the cheese has gone really hard. You have to slice quite a bit off. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you have to get rid of that hard often, bit, Haley, right? Often, yeah. So, Again, what we're going to do here, we're going to just going to, with our fingers, by the way, you don't necessarily have to use the, the zipper clip, this little white clip. You can obviously pinch that shut with your fingers like you would normally do. And again, this is not just a regular um, bag. It is reusable. It is washable. And you've got the ability so with good. that air valve, Haley, uh -huh. to completely suck all the air away from the bag. So again, you waste less and you eat more because what you're not doing is obviously wasting the food because you're keeping it fresh, okay? And if you have a look at the assortment of food that I've got on the countertop, there's that cheese. That is so good. We've done the fish fingers. Uh, I think these are the three of the same size bags, actually. The I'm tomatoes. thinking all the waste of the things we buy as well. The bags that we buy to go in the freezer that we throw away, we use once and we throw them away. Well, that's Thing it. film, Single-use plastics. Absolutely, Not yeah. good for the environment, is it, no. really, when you think about it? And again, how many times have you gone um, you know, to grab the tin foil and you've tore it on that little zippy part on the box and it's not quite the right size. Mm. You've got, let me just grab this, Haley, for a second. You've got four sizes of bags. It's so good. Okay. So the right size so, for everything, really. Yeah, and again, just to reiterate, try and marry up the size of the food to the right size so of, of the bag. A couple of chicken breasts in there in the freezer. Chicken breast, marinade, your pasta, your bread, your cereals, mm -hmm. you know, your bacon, um, your fruits and vegetables, raw or cooked meats and fish. There's the large one. So you've got four different sizes in which to use. Uh, look at the, the, you know, the, the, the vegetables inside Brilliant. there. I mean, how many times have you gone to the fridge? And by the way, if you are doing something like fish, kippers, or salmon, or something really pongy, this will prevent the fridge from smelling Brilliant. and you get no contamination of food, providing, of course, you do wash them in warm soapy water or pop them in the dishwasher, that's up to you. But store cupboard ingredients, anything you'd pop in the fridge, anything you'd pop in the freezer. Remember, when you want to break the air seal, all you simply do is just pull apart. It is reinforced, that double zipper. You can see the air escape. So let's just give that a little bit of a, a rattle around inside the back, okay? Remember, food grade safe as well, obviously, okay? And you've got 80 microns, that's the grade of the plastic, on the smooth side here, okay? And on the obscured side, which is the back, the inside, that's 180 microns. So again, it's all food grade safe. Use the zipper, we pull it all the way across, either way, left to right, uh, right to left. We use that little suction pump. If you want to withdraw, all the air. So what we're doing here, we're pumping up and down and you'll be able to see in around about 20 to 30 seconds, possibly even less, depending on the size of the bag you're using and obviously how much you fill it. Remember, never exceed that little white line, okay? Great for marinating your foods in there once again. And again, what you're not doing, as Haley quite rightly said, not replenishing tin foil, sandwich bags, anything like, you know, your cling film, this you can use time and time again. That and is that so is air tight. So fruits, vegetables, cheese, anything you pop in the fridge, anything you pop in the freezer, great for store cupboard ingredients as well. Four sizes, it's just a great idea and it's gonna keep that food fresher for longer as you're taking out the air with that little um, vacuum pump. Brilliant idea. If you've got a kitchen, which most of you have, well, of course you all have, it's not a maybe in my opinion, it's a must because these, in my opinion, are a waste of time 
and quite often a waste of money. How much you spend on those, you replenish them week in, week out, month in, month out. And you this do, is don't you? And cling film, I think, is, is, is so rubbish now, anyhow. It doesn't seem to cling. It doesn't seem to do the job that it's meant to do. Tin foil, you never rip the right amount off, so you've always got waste. We're always throwing away, whereas this you're going to reuse time and time again. And the more you watch the demonstrations, we're just getting busier and busier. The more of the things you think, oh, that's going to be grateful. Perhaps it is just things in the fridge. Perhaps it is when you've opened that, you know, that container of ham and you use a bit of ham, you put the rest back in the fridge because it's not sealed properly. That next bit of ham has then gone solid and you're throwing that away. Seal it in here. You don't always have to completely vacuum seal it, but seal it in here. If you vacuum seal it, what you're doing is you're taking the air out. You're going to keep everything fresher for longer. So I do that with the ham. I do that with the cheese, but we've seen this with the tomatoes, with the veg as well. But whatever you're thinking, whether you're going to do this with meats and then put them into the freezer, perhaps you always multi-buy, perhaps you do the two for one offers, perhaps you're on your own, but everything comes in packs of twos or threes or fours. So you're actually going to have, you know, one chicken breast, the rest you're going to put in the freezer. You could individually do your chicken breast. You could marinate them and put them in the freezer so they're ready to cook. Leftover foods as well, if you want to put them in here and then again freeze them. But whether it's cereals in your cupboards, perhaps your cupboards are just too full. Perhaps you're thinking about the caravan. When you go camping, you only want to take that, you know, that sort of um, cool box, but how much can you fit in there? So much more when you get rid of all the packaging and you vacuum seal it in these bags, keeping it fresher for longer, but giving you space back in your cupboards, in your fridge, in your freezer. They're amazing because they're washable. Whether you want to put them in the dishwasher or whether you hand wash them, it's entirely up to you, but you wash them, you reuse them, you wash them and you reuse them. And the sizes you get are just perfect for all the different jobs that you'll want these to do. So you have got four different sizes, 20 in total, so five of each side. Then you've got the actual sliding clips and then you've got that brilliant hand pump. It's so quick, it's so easy. So this is allowing you to do so much for your food, to store, to store it in a smaller space, but also to keep that freshness, to keep it you know, fresher for longer. They are absolutely phenomenal. You're loving them. $16.99, crazy value for money. And of course, with four flexi payments, $4.25, that is all you spend today. But looking at just on, you know, John's counter there, so many different types of food that will fit into all these different size bags. Even if you just want to get your flour into smaller, you know, containers, this is allowing you to just put flour in. You don't have to vacuum pack that flour. You can just air burp it and then put it straight into the cupboard so you're getting space back in your cupboard it ticks box after box after box allowing you to keep food fresher for longer allowing you to make more space in your fridge in your freezer in your cupboards and we do a lot of sort of uh, two for one offers and put a lot into the freezer and sometimes it's a night buy. Sometimes when we've got leftover food, we put them into like containers that we know are freezer proof, but then they take up so much space. Then your freezer's absolutely full, but really there's nothing in there. When they're vacuum sealed, perhaps you've only got a fridge with a little tiny freezer top. It's going to allow you to put so much more in there, but no longer. And you can write on the front the date with you know, the food that's in there and so easy just to grab that bag. You could pre-pep, pre pre-pep, pre 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 Pet, I can't say, pre-prepare, I'll say it that way. You could pre-prepare foods. Um, you know, you could have marinades. Marinating actually quicker in something like this. Um, it is phenomenal and price-wise, you cannot go wrong. I think this is one of the best new products that we've had. You know, it's something you will use time and time and time again. It's going to save you money. It's going to save you space as well. 850132 is your item number. Now, don't forget, we've got two new products. We've also got our multi-purpose grater. You're getting a pair of these. You're getting two of them. The reason for that is it's going to allow you to have one always with cheese in. We're always